Do they want to be famous? Look at this gay ass shit. So I just walked out of there two seconds ago. Two seconds ago, I walked out of the store and I walked on my way here. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I had some guy come over and talk to me. He came over and said you were yelling at him for crossing the street over here or something. Are, are, you, are you serious right now? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. He just came up, walked to me, said he was crossing the street, and then you yelled something at him when he crossed. You know what's funny? Yeah. What's more important to me is that I just came here, and again, I see a Middleton Police Department officer. It's, oh. like, it's like you guys have a habit of showing yourselves to me. As I, when I arrive to locations or as I'm leaving, yeah. and I know I know you probably don't care, but that for for a person like me and having that history, it it kind of seems like harassment. Okay, well I, I'm not sure who you are or anything. I'm not asking. For oh, any of your how questions. did you identify me? The the guy that he walked up to me pointed you out, said you're driving this car. How did you know this car was mine? He pointed this car out. But how did you know the car belonged to me? I just saw you walk up and I saw you click it to unlock it. I didn't, the play. car, oh, it is unlocked. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, so I'm, you I'm, waited across the street at that intersection? So I just parked over there to work out some paperwork. This guy walked up to me, told me what happened, wanted me to come talk. I'm, nothing's happening about it. I'm just here. But, to but you, just so you, do you, you think that's a coincidence? That, that I have the experiences I have and just so happens. Like I said, I don't know who you are. Or what but I'm just saying, it doesn't matter who I am, like in detail, on the surface, you can just look at it on the surface. You don't go into details. Okay. Do you think if a person has the experiences I've had, that is a coincidence that another militant police department shows up? Like off... I said, I don't know what experiences you've had. I've never met you. Before. I just told you. Yeah, you said you've had some bad experiences. That doesn't really tell no, me. No, I've just know. seen so... police officers everywhere I go. And interacting you. with police officers. Okay. Well, that, that's the reason I talk to you today. Okay? All right. I, I have no idea what happened to you in the past or anything. I'm just talking to you about it. And I, like I said, nothing's going to happen about it. Oh, I'm, and to, and to, and to clarify, that dude was interfering with my ability to turn into the, into the, he was standing on, in the yellow, the yellow marker. I, I got you. No, I, I understand that. Yeah, but, so like I said, nothing's even But to, to to fill out the rest of the story, the guy that didn't he didn't he didn't tell you the whole story. Okay. He told you the part of the story that would get you to come over here and talk to me, okay. which is probably why uh, it adds to the story my history of interacting with police officers. People will, will told somebody told you something to interact with me. That would lead you to interact with me. Yeah. But the point is he did something that he knew I would respond to the way I responded to him. He interfered with my ability to drive into the parking way. I, I don't like to drive that close to people. Okay. And uh, so I waited. Okay. And I, I'm pretty sure that guy stalked me and were, or was prepared for me to uh, not drive next to him. Not drive like within two inches of where he was standing, which would be necessary to drive into the parking way. Okay. Like so, so the guy knew I'd say, go fuck yourself. Okay. And then he, he also knew you'd be nearby. And then he also knew that you would interact with me because he said the right things to get you to ask me at least, hey, what's going on? You know? Yeah. That's so totally so amazing. basically, the series of events, it, you, you don't care, but it, it's a history thing for me. I got it's, you. A, it's a repeated history that I'm trying to yeah. get to the bottom of. I'm trying to get to the gravity that's been following me for, for years. So, and, and the only way to do that is to ask questions or tell the, tell the truth. So this guy did something that led you to talk to me, that led, uh, uh, but but before he did that, what you left out, he made sure to do something that would cause me to say, go fuck yourself, which is something I've said for over six years to people who interfere with my life in any, well, in the smallest ways, but it's it's a repetitive thing that keeps happening. I got you. So that guy did what I just told you, and I think he planned it all out from the beginning to the end. To this moment right now where we're having this conversation okay. it's uh it's like you if you know someone well enough you can mess with them and you can do things to them to get them to respond the same way they have in the past okay. so repeat the so do you know this guy no i don't know him. i don't know a lot of people in town okay. i don't know a lot of people in town but that doesn't mean lots of people in town don't know who you are so it's a it's a community a gay community 
of people who are doing bad things to me all the time. And I am okay. trying to tell on those people. That's the gravity I'm after. I got you. And, I, and I think it's your job to be smart enough to know when people are harassing people in the community okay. and not one person. Well, he's, he's not harassing He is. He's a group effort. Okay. And now you just protected him. Okay. You, you're just ignoring the gravity. There are a large group of people harassing one person. So it's not one person going out of his way to harass other people. It's a large group of people harassing one person because he won't have sex with them. I'm not sure what, how that plays into this. The, the, okay, well, if you, if you go on, I'm going to post this on YouTube. Maybe somebody smart somewhere will watch this video and piece this all together, like a detective maybe, or, or someone who has five minutes of life willing to figure out if I'm telling the truth. But the guy that you, who called you and talked to you was actually fucking with me. He was literally fucking with me. And then he used you to repeat a history I've had in the past. So that's exactly what happened. And you're playing stupid like you don't understand what I'm saying. It's your job to do, to protect everybody. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. I just came over here to talk to you. Because it's a repeat, a repeat history. All right, man. So I just came over here to, I, to yeah. come by and talk to you. Gravity produces energy. And that's what I just did. I just gave you a lot of energy. I hope you listened to what I said and uh, understood what I said. Because uh, okay. maybe someone else, maybe, I'm sorry, maybe so, or someone else will. Somewhere. All right. Are you going to have any uh, other problems with this guy? Or you guys I, I don't know who he is, okay. but it's like a gorilla. It's you a gorilla game. Ways, it happens all the time, everywhere. All right. You guys are going to go your separate ways? You guys oh, I don't even know where he is. I'm going, I, <laughs> I, I don't know who he is. I don't follow narratives. I didn't come here for anybody. I came here for some snacks. I always do. That's what I normally do. All right, I don't bother that. people. And uh, I just tell on people. Oh, okay. All right. I got you. I don't have any other questions. Yep. Take care, man. What's your name, officer? Miazga. Miazga. I'm sorry. I can't Miazga. hear you for shit. Officer Miazga. Miazga. Yep. All right. Cool.